everyone and welcome to today's new video. So today I'm going to show you how I print off a Blu-ray cover at my local library. You may remember that around the beginning of the year, end of last year, I printed off some Blu-ray covers and uh, I printed off Bullet and Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. And I did Jaws as well as many others just to get them into these nice thinner cases. So what I'll do is we'll go over to my local library and I will show you what I do. So basically what I do is find the picture in the highest resolution, which is this. I'll just save images, which is not saving. We eventually got that. Open it, check it, make sure it's as big as you can get it, which this one is. I'll go to print here. Six hundred dots per square inch. Twenty-five by twenty. Fit pitch to frame. And print. Make sure you want it in colour. Name it and then send it to the printer. Okay, so back from the library, and as you can see, I've got one of my covers on here. I've got the Adam West Batman movie on here, and I've got it on a A4 craft mat, and some of the tools that you will need to cut it down will be a craft knife, a ruler, whatever size you want. I like to use a 30 centimeter one and I also like to have with me just a spare 11 millimeter cover just so that I know the dimensions of uh, the cover that I need to get it to be the right size. Also if you want to you can use a pencil as well. So the first job that I will be doing will be measuring the cover, making sure that it is the right length, which it is. As for the height, well, it's not because it goes up to here. So the tip of that blade, so you're looking at 
you are looking at about six millimeters on this one. So you can either have three millimeters at the bottom, three millimeters at the top, or you can have six at the bottom or six at the top, whichever one that you want. For me, not sure. Maybe the three millimeters at the, at the bottom and at the top might be a good idea. And again, we have this nice color up here with the orange, yellow and green and that. So maybe having the six millimeters down at the bottom may be a better idea. Not sure. So that's the first side that I've cut. So that's the two sides trimmed down. Now we've got to do the top and the bottom. that side done the bottom so I'll do that again to the top I'll just line it up just mark it doesn't matter you can be a little bit rough with that and then move that out the way and then it will cut just underneath the line directly underneath it Remove that out of the way, and then so far now we have something that does resemble more of a cover size. So it's still slightly too big for the cover, for the case rather, so it still needs a bit more trimming, which we'll do. Pop that back, move that out of the way. So I've now cut that down to the size that I want. So let's try it in the 11mm Blu-ray case for the first time. So let's stick that in. So that's what it looks like. Not 
bad at all. Would be better if I could change it so that I could get it the, the proper size, but fortunately you can't muck with the uh, printer settings on the library computers, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's the best I can do with uh, what I have available to me. So uh, yeah, really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give the video some big thumbs up. Let me know what you think or thought down in the comments section below. And uh, until next time, take care, stay safe, and thank you for watching.